When the deuced suitors the deuced. Standing around here worry is not going to help matters. Come, we must discuss the day's events with Pippin and her in her grace. Brave scions. Oh. Once again. But that I could treat you to here as welcome, but I bear urgent news from the the protestory. Your Grace, whatever is the matter? As our troops withdrew from Pagler, uh, Pagelthan, they came upon two scouts sent to the nearby tower. I have yet heard to hear a full account, but it seems that one of them, your friend, I believe, ha has been had been wounded, is being dragged away by the other. Oh, God, dude. No. I must go. Forgive me, Your Grace. Shit's hitting the fan. Can you tell us aught of Ardenwald's condition, Your Grace? The wounded scout. Not save that it is grave. The Chirigans tend to him as we speak. This is my sixth consecutive day working, and I work tonight as well. I would work a whole week non-stop, but my, since my hours are closed on Sundays, I don't get it overtime. Bruh. Habit, that's fucked. That's so fucked, Habit. Maybe we must, um... Maybe we must be... The infirmary must be in, in... Dude, where the fuck? I'm sorry, I keep stopping. There's a fucking, like, gnat or something flying around the mic and, like, right in front of my face. The infirmary must be in, in, wait, inundated in, with the wounded. If all of us go, we'll only get underfoot. Bella, Estinian, would you mind going after Alf now? You may need some support from someone other than me. Hey, dude, you should be getting way more money from working that much overtime. That's ridiculous. Very well. Thank you. The rest of us will see that the relevant people know what took place in pa Paglathon. Call on then. There we go. Go down there. Over this way. Over this way. I need to check something really quick. It's super important. I'll be I'll be back in like a split second. Another one comes to see the lad in silver armor. I said Demelon, Demelon, Demelo, Damilio is attending to him as we speak. You would be so kind as to wait. What did Master Demelon say? Tell me his, me his exact words. 
Enough alpha now. Yeah, bro, you gotta be quiet. The doctors work. But you're you're right. Forgive me. When we said it. When we set off by Wales to Arnvald, I was not afraid that something like this might happen. But now that it has, all we can do is wait. Yeah, Fordorla, tell what the fuck. Tell us what happened, even though I know what happened. It's a bunch of hoopla. 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 Fordola, have you been waiting here all this time? Ooh. Popped my shoulder really, really hard. I haven't shaved since it, we have since done I was in Columbia. The rest is up to him. Oh, is your beard growing out habit? May mm. we see him? Why I not? do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Yeah, I don't grow facial hair that quickly, so mine's just kind of like this. <laughs> Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... Uh, I don't know. Perhaps I could have... Shut up, Alpha, now. Could have what? Got tempered? Mm -hmm. Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. Mm-hmm. People die all the time for no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. That's true. If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. It may be that victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. All life is precious! <laughs> oh, you need to grow up, little man, before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. Yikes. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. <laughs> the battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you'll not be next. Nah, fuck you, Vordola. Fuck and you. what'll become of your precious dreams then? Fuck you, Forella. They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. It was my laptop only the 30 minutes until people get here, so I gotta hide it. True though. Okay, sounds like a plan, Habit. Sounds like a plan. No, I know. Nothing more than I can do here. Come, let us rejoin the others. True, true. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you soon, Habit. <clears throat> the grace invites the silence of the seventh dawn to join her in the fragrant chamber. 
comrades have already arrived. Will the three of you be joining them? We will. Let's go. Grace, pray forgive us our lateness. Think not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Arunvold. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that you have my word. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. Mm-hmm. Tis now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. Less certain is the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. Mm. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. Very true. Very true indeed. While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling, I fear we have more immediate concerns. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. Fuck. Which ones specifically? For a blessing. None appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut, and the Grand Companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Yeah, just tell me where to go and I'll head there, my dude. Luckily, normal people can fight them. Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for now. Yeah, because luckily they're not given the orders to specifically grab as many people as possible. So normal people can fight these lunar primals. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. Good, good. It is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. And be the only one, surely not, I'm not, that is, I use my phone while at the toilet. Nah, nah, you're all good. I, I, I too do that as well. Of course. This was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarn. Moreover, 
We shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea. Yes, yes, hear, hear. May these words ever be our guide, Your Grace. Now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends, I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Habit, but you got this. One more hour to go. One more hour to go. Right then. Unless anyone has any objections, I think it's about time we return to the Rising Stones. What is that? What even is that? It looks like what Baby Yoda doing something. And that includes you, Alf. Now, Alvinvald is in good hands here. Of course, he would. You would doubtless mock me for pacing about the infirmary. Let's retire then, that we might regain our strength to readiness for the coming eight challenges. All that. If all are in agreement then, I shall let Kryal know to expect us. Hot bath and a hearty meal shouldn't be beyond arranging with the time available. It would be good to be home. There's some thinking to do. Oh, is that a lightsaber? Oh. I couldn't tell. I thought yeah, I thought it was a dick. If I'm being honest. Yes. I'll try asking him. And thank you. I shall look forward to it. Our comrades eagerly await our return, and Kryle in particular has a few matters she is keen to discuss, one of which concerns you, Estinian, believe it or not. You will join us, won't you? Fine. Fine. Really? I thought you were, you said you were avoiding the, that Baldissian woman. I, re I refuse. If I refuse, she would only pursue me. That's a good point. Yeah, I genuinely thought that was a dick. I'm going to be honest. Let's get this over with, shall we? Back to the Rising Stones. Back, going back home. Okay. Dude, cat, bongo cats, dude. Bongo, 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 bongo. Bongo, 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 bongo. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. What's up, Kryl? Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings, and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophoroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Charlian. Oh, Charlian! Really? It is 
possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. That's true. Oh, I well remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. Oh, I bet. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary. And have since received their blessing. Ooh. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the forum? You know, I hope. One can but hope. Mm -hmm. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. After yes. hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing, a topic I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. There's a, there's a train going by. We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? When Elidibus sought to make warriors of light, that was the voice which calls constantly to all who might hear it. I spoke of direct communication when Heidelin communed solely with you. A far rarer occurrence. Honk. Dragon has to make me return to streaming. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, that's why when it comes to our PS5, we, we literally like only use it for streaming. And then that's about it. If I'm being honest, we only really you like use consoles for streaming nowadays. I'm super pumped for Ragnarok though. Casey, yeah, Casey's playing it on release day, so it's gonna be good. Assuming she gets the day off, she'll be using it on release day. She'll be playing it on release day. Assuming she gets the day off, she should be because she's supposed to get Mondays off, but we'll see. History shows us that Heidelin is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in her judgment. It's going to be a good stream. It's going to be a good, solid stream. Mayhap she is, but following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own, and as far as I am able to tell, Heidelin has not made her will known to anyone. Mm. During my time in the First, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reen, but that was not the will of Heidelin. It was Minfilia herself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed, and while she and Heidelin were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm, I'm excited for Ragnarok to come out. I wonder, could Heidelin's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some True. obstacle to communication? While I share Uriange's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Um, because we originally saw her going dark at one point, didn't we? Then again, who am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. That's true.
Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. I really, really, really want to come out as Hollow Knight Silk Song. I, yeah, I know a lot of people are really anticipating it. Um, I've never played Hollow Knight, so I wouldn't know the hype for it. But uh, you know what? I heard that uh, people are very, very excited for it. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we Scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few in number. Estinian, join and us. So I must ask you again. Will you join us? Join us. Become a Scion. Become a Scion. You see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are idealistic to a fault. Wow, Habit. Wow. Disappointed in me, but what about Casey? Casey hasn't even played it. Even Casey's played less than I have. I've at I least played uh, never like five minutes of it. Those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the lie to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. Casey's ne never, never opened the game in, a, in any way, shape, or form. Wow! I'm telling, I'm telling Casey. When you lost those you held dear. You carried their spirit with you, and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. Yeah, you thought you were gonna tattle on me. I'm gonna tattle on you, Habit. I'm gonna be the tattler. But you bear it willingly. As you have shown me, some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? No, I will tell on you if you tell on me. Well, if you tell on me, I'm gonna tell on you, telling on me, telling on you. Thank you, Estinian. Yes, Estinian is a scion. Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Estinian. Welcome now, to the party. I you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. <laughs> there will be a lot of telling. A lot of telling. A lot of telling, telling, telling. Sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian. And do try not to let the forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. I shall do my very best. Bye, Kryle. Bye, Kryle. We'll see you hopefully in the future. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. Oh, that's a lot of weapons. Well, does this one meet with your approval? Personally, I prefer BRB as this way I know you'll we'll be back. Oh. <laughs> or could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? Yikes. You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. I mean, you're all good, Habit. You're all good. It doesn't bother me at all. I 
It will not affect our plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. Oh, but the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Mm. Speaking of preparations, is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> a mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. That is true. Oh, you're all good. You're all good, Abbe. Yeah, go, go back to the second floor. There is one that I have been meaning to test. Which one? Which one, Zenos? Well, well, not quite what I was expecting. Though I will say, it does seem rather apt. Which one? Which one? Wow, dude. Wow, dude. Taru. Well, it looks like I'm going to have a busy few moons. Not that there ever seemed to be any, uh, to be anything but. Ingrid's got me dispatching troops to every corner of the realm, which is not to say I don't trust the Alliance, but I, because I do. But when it comes to putting down primals, nobody does it better than us. Well, then you lot, more accurately. You won't catch me trading blows with a primal in the near future, but for every felled fiend you vanquish, there's countless mean meals to arrange, baths to, baths to fill, sheets to wash, stores to plenish, and the list goes on. Which is where I come in, and I'm glad to mind, and, and gladly I mind you. It's the least I can do to help the scions who risk their lives and limb, like poor all are involved. I wish there was something we could do for him, but we just have to, to settle and say, for saying the odd prayer and keep the roof over our heads. Wouldn't do to have him come back to a complete shambles now, would it? But that's enough for my rambling. Off you go and get some rest. There are any developments, I'll promise to keep you in the first to know. Quest complete. Three quests to go. Not for naught. No title. Oh, Dawn Treader, though. Oh, no, this isn't... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't, this is what we we're looking at. Yeah, no. The company we keep. Last three quests. Finish strong. Bella, you're looking well. I take it you've managed to squeeze in some rest. You came hoping for tidings from Kryle. I'm afraid we're still waiting, but we, st we do have some, some odd scraps of news to share. Caps, she says, Lunar Primals have been popping up all over the place, but the Alliance has a situation well in hand, thanks to no part to Hori Boulder and the others. Meanwhile, talks of the beast tribes are going even better than expected. Encouraged by Uldah's progress to El Maja, Gridani has opened negotiations with Ixal, believe it or not. Which of, if all, all of which is obviously very encouraging, but the, the Telfora, uh, Telfora, Hello, for you, for our favorite. Still out, still out there. It's not as though we can afford to lower our guard. Hmm. Who that? Who that? Beg your pardon, but I come bearing an invitation from the Alliance. A council meeting is due to be held in Alamigo, and your attendance is humbly requested. 
We were talking about the Alliance. May I ask what's on the agenda? I believe the intention is to share news of recent developments and discuss what measures might be taken to combat of Telefuri. In concert with our new allies, the Beast Tribes have also been invited. It's hoped that they will join us in a fight against our common foe. So the Alliance would bring all the Beast Tribes into the fold at a single stroke. An ambitious plan given the delicacy of negotiations, but may happen ex ex expedient one, considering the threat we face. Indeed, my lady. And for that part, I am told the Beast Tribes have agreed to attend. If the Scions too are present, all of the arrows here will be represented. Let's do it. They arranged such a meeting. To arrange such a meeting must have been quite an undertaking, not only dis diplomatically, but pra practical practically. I inform the Alliance that we would honor the uh, be honored to participate. We shall make for Almigo without delay. I will bear your answer thither and hate with haste. We look forward to receiving you at the royal palace. Another train, dude. Well, now that's what we've accepted the invitation. Who exactly is going to attend? I move that you and your stroller lead our contingent. Given how how long you've worked to end summoning, it's only right that you've been present for what promises to be a historic moment. I think we've all played a part in our little endeavor, don't you, Bella? All present may rightly claim a seat. I do quite agree, but do you? But by your leave, I believe I shall remain here and lend the, what assistance I can to coordinate our our defensive efforts. I'm not coming either. Emric will be there, and I'd rather not be negotiated interrogated. Very well then. While the, those that with a mind to hold the fort get on with a hold of it, I suggest we take the rest of us for Alamigo, shall we? Alamigo. Why do I have a feeling these are going to be the three longest quests of the entire expansion? The last three. Lots of talking. I'm going to need more water. My throat is very parched. We've been expecting you. While some few guests have yet to arrive, the Alliance leaders are all present. Shall you, shall you, I shall show you in. Ah, sha, 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 sha. Brain is fried, bro. I feel it. I feel that one, my dude. My brain is also beginning to be fried. Three quests up, though. Esteemed guests, you honor us with your presence. As there is much to discuss, let us begin. Right, brain buddies. Ooh. Information on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it, we would. Shut up. Yes. Ah! Beyond forgiveness, these featherless ones are. With rivers of blood shall they pay. Freed our people must be. Yikes, dude. We too would see your kin liberated. But ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers, let alone contend with their defenders. Mm -hmm. If all else fails... I've always found cannonballs quite effective. That's true. We could always just blow the towers up. 
<gasps> and what of the prisoners? Would you see them slaughtered? Maybe. Think for a moment. Ponder, consider, think. If Merlwib truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? It's the fucking monkey man. Hey, guys. Yistola spoke of defenders. I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part if we are to have any chance of success. For if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. You know, it'd be, you know, some, some people are just like that. I think for Casey and I, I think it's just easier for people to call us by our names all because there's two of us. Wait, seriously? Get fucked. That's called a, a big gamer plays, dude. The Paragon, the Empire, our very gods. How can we hope to prevail against such odds? That our foe is formidable, none would deny. But our strengths are many and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy, masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. The loopholes for days, dude, for days. We're all friends. Oh, true, true. They could panic. I beg your pardon? Uh, yes? What is it, Sir Walker? Do not express your passion thus. <laughs> oh. A little Chrissy will have deals, perhaps. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I am proud to be counted amongst Deorzea's finest. <laughs> we, Sir Hagen, will play our part. Uh, we're like, hey, you know your donations have your real name. You should probably watch that. Uh... We kobolds have not forgotten the crimes the Overdwellers committed against us in the past. But today we look to the future as allies united in purpose. <laughs> this is fucking monkey man, dude. Very true, very true. Make mock of the Ixel the Paragon does. Turns kin into puppets. Pits brother against brother. Free them from his grasp, we shall. Dude, the Ixel are so As weird. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, the Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. This boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. Hopefully. We accept, we accept. Praise me. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, look at this. Everyone's fucking being nice to each other. I would just keep going like I saw Taking nothing. A while, but I do believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Would that mean Philia were here to see it? Yeah, some things are best kept, uh, kept, best kept a secret. We still have a long way to go, and we're going to need a lot more porksies. Mm-hmm. But we're moving in the right direction. That's true. If I may have your attention, there is one other point I would like to raise. As we can all agree, freeing those held captive must take precedence over every other concern. Yes. But experience has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them, that which we call a primal. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. 
And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. 17 minutes ago, you got this, you got this, 17 minutes. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. Indeed. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which the process depends. Do so, and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A promising proposal. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to remain vigilant, lest the Telophoroi commit further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To stand a better chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts, sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. Abduct me! We, Amalja, would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. <laughs> Abduct me, please. Turn me into a puppet. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I submit that the honor of naming it should go to the scion whose brave efforts have done so much to unite Eorzea. What say you, my friend? True, though, have it true. Do I get the name of this new, this new alliance, dude? Uh, call it Grand Company of Eorzea or call it... Uh, uh, nah, I want something else. Might I suggest the Grand Company of Eorzea? I remember a certain someone pondering it once upon a time, and it seems as fitting a name as any. Boo. Boo. A fine choice, for there is none here who does not love Eorzea. Aye. In that we shall ever be united. United in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Name it Nervous Energy, the best of names. Then let it be recorded that on this day, the Grand Company of Eorzea was born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Alpha, now he's so happy. His dreams are finally coming true. How long have we dreamed of this moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Might we speak outside? Oh, Alpha now. Well, now that we are out of earshot of the other delegates, I hope you will forgive me if I if I speak my mind. Let me begin by saying that I have dreamed of this day since the moment I first set foot upon these shores, and that I was as heartened as anyone to see the peoples of Eos had pledged their solid solidarity. Yet, yet as they uttered their declarations, all I could think about was the conflict to come, of the sacrifices that would be made, and the lives lost, inevitabilities that I still struggle to accept. Dude, the best of emote, dude. But at least now there is hope. Formation of the Grand Company of Eorzea is the first step, the first of many. Many and many more. Oh. Elder Seedseer, uh, Elder Seedseer, how might we be of service? I have a question about life and society. Oh God, okay. Okay, have it. I seek Master Alphanau's assistance in the matter of involving Gradania's neighbors, the Sylphs. I know that you and yours have kept long a weather eye upon the crystal trade, the better to predict the coming of primals, since you will be familiar with the Sylphs of the Ashcrown Consortium. 
Through their dealings, they have cultivated relations not only with the city-states, but with many other communities besides. Communities such as the Beast Tribes. Just so, it is our hope that we can make use of the Sylph's established uh, lines of communication to coordinate the efforts of our new fellowship. Yet, there remains practical differences between a trade consortium and a grand company. If the Sylphs are to perform their task effectively, they will require the counsel of one versed in the operational aspects of an armed force. An armed force founded with the same self goal, um, self same goal in mind, no less. Bra Chris the Braves, yes. Forgive me, Master Afna. I know that it was a painful chapter in your life, but the experience may yet be made to serve the realm. My hubris? I plotted the course the Crystal Braves would stretch far beyond the Order's initial conception. One intended to pave the way from the founding of what I, I intended to call the Grand Company of Eorzea. My plans all came to naught. Built upon a frail foundation of lofty ideals, the Order was doomed from the first to collapse under the weight of more worldly interests. And I have no wish to see this new or endeavor suffer the same fate. Mayhap I, 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 mayhap I ask too much of you. Not at all. You may count upon my assistance for what little is worth. By your leaving, by your leave, I shall prepare a report, including a list of recommendations drawing on the lessons I learned from the failures of the Crystal Braves. You have my gratitude, Master Off now, and my trust. When your report is ready, pray to share it directly with the Sylphs. With your guidance, the earnest uh, efforts of every goodly soul gathered here there today, I have no doubts but that our fellowship shall emerge from the shadow of the tel telephory and flourish. Until next we meet, my friends. Before committing anything to writing, there are a number of people whose thoughts I would like to hear. Former Braves, for instance. But you understand. Might you join me in seeking them out? As if you are dusk. Thank you. As someone who has witnessed the orders rise and fall, yours would be a reassuring presence. I'll join you. If you're planning to canvass the, op canvass the opinions of former comrades, it would be a lot quicker if we share the task of questioning them. Mayhap Gr Graha can lend a hand as well. I shall accompany Thinkrid back to the Rising Stones. Between us, I dare say we should be able to provide an accurate enough account of the day's events. We should be glad of your company, Graha. I, I shall explain the details on the way. I'm gonna be quick. So I'm gonna get some water. I'm very, very parched. I knew that dude, this quest, these quests are gonna last fucking. I swear, like probably an hour. So I need some water and I'll be right back and I'll answer, I'll answer what you were talking about. Okay, I'll be, give me a quick second. Okay. Yeah, because we still have three. Like I said, we still have three more. I don't know when this one's gonna end, but we got a while. I was told recently that that making me feel better, uh, that making me feel better was not my friend's responsibility because of the situation. We going. Yep, that was that it was mine and mine alone, and I get that because we are not responsible for our friends. But how now? For my question, do you see that as a problem with society, or that should, it, or how it should, or how it should be? How we should all think. Well, when Casey was streaming, I know you talked to her about it, and I was making my comments in the background, even though you couldn't, uh, you probably couldn't hear me. In my opinion, okay, it's true. You know, making yourselves feel better, 
is technically our own responsibility though as friends you'd think as friends you could you should be helping each other out because you are friends it should be a natural thing to do though it's not required it is a natural thing to do since you guys are supposed to be very good friends to further into that for your specific specific instance habit it was your birthday and they treated you like shit so just saying uh, in society i feel like yes it's our job to make ourselves feel better but if it but our friends should be the ones to help us and should be there to be shoulders to lean on because if they aren't what's the fucking point in them being friends and that is my opinion there's no point in having a friend having someone as a friend if they're not going to be there to help you out no it's not required they should they should be volunteering because they're your friend it's not required but it's expected kind of thing you know what i mean socially it's ex it's expected but it's definitely not required and if they don't technically they're not at fault but in your specific instance it's goes more in depth on that you know what i mean so what's the plan about brother mine before discussing the task at hand i should probably admit that the report i propose is largely written not long after the fateful day in Old Dai, I penned a detailed account of the organization's history, from the events that led to its inception to the failings that brought about its demise. This, is what, this I did primarily as a means of taking some semblance of responsibility. Never did I imagine that it might later be re referred to by those seeking to form a similar organization. And while I made every attempt to be objective, the account was mine alone. And its events viewed from my singular perspective. For it to be used, however, it must be broadened to encompass the viewpoints of all involved. Only then can it answer what seems to, be, to me to be the crucial question, namely, why after the Crystal Braves disbanded, did the members choose to remain with us while others did not? I see. You think the answer will tell us something? You think the answer will tell us something about the nature of the ties that will bind our new grand company together, and that this knowledge might help us to prevent it from falling apart when those bonds are inevitably tested that is my hope yes but the questions i would ask are comfortable to to are uncomfortable to some as the former commander of the crystal raves i doubt that those who abandoned the cause would welcome my in inquiries i think raha and i will just have to try meanwhile the two of you can talk to the ones who kept faith and kept the faith Fine suggestion. Have care, however, certain of my former comrades are questionable character. Leave a about you and let us reconvene in Grodania later. If you have no objections, I remind you to begin by speaking with Riol and Alien. Alian. And if memory serves, the two of them will be attending an intelligence briefing at Castrum Orens. Let us speak and seek them out. I also think of more of the straight up just thinking about the yeah. strength thing that hey sorry it's it's late it's it's 3 30 in the morning here i can't speak right <laughs> i also was thinking of more like like straight up just thinking that as the answer to my problem i feel like because nowadays we teach each other to focus on us to heal ourselves and worry about us first we're not being that empathetic with each other and that kind of thing is uh, of what it will, it's also that i've talked to this multiple times at this point in the past week people nowadays are super fucking entitled i'm gonna be honest we're so far and i'm not saying I, i'm not entitled to a degree everyone nowadays is so far up their own asses that they just don't give a shit at this point or if they do they're fucking trying to they're trying to purposely find ways to pick fights with people like, why can't we just be nice to one another? I just don't understand. Everyone just seems so fucking entitled nowadays. And just makes them all seem like pricks. Exactly. Well, look who it is. And what brings you two here? 
don't have anything to do with the big meeting with it. In a matter of speaking, I have an assigned task. I have been assigned a task, you see, for which I require an assistance of former members of the Crystal Braves. Dude, society nowadays sucks. So, you want to know why we decided to stick with the Scions, eh? Hmm. An easy thing to put up and put into words, that. Hmm. As we all will attest, I spent a long time agonizing over my failure to alert you to the traitors in our midst. For my ne negligence, I was captured along with many others, and we were powerless to prevent the tragedies that ensued. When the day goes by that I do not think back to those fateful events, by joining the Scions, I hope to redeem myself, and I will continue to serve the cause for as long as I am able. Until I don't know the type of person you are. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I don't hate people. I just, until I know who you are, I'm just, I just don't care at that point. I just don't care. I don't care to know people. Unless they put out the effort to know me and they're good people, I just don't care. But that wasn't my only reason. When we were finally reunited at the Rising Stones, you refused to blame anyone but yourself for the fall of the Crystal Braves. In spite of everything that had happened, everything you had suffered, you took us back without, without a moment's hesitation. And we would not have blamed you if you had turned us away. But when you gave us your trust instead, what else could we have to do but try to repay it? Nothing, that's what. As for me and my own tale, well, I've always felt that science had something in common with me old crew. Duty the strong is to protect the weak. That was our creed, and I still strive to live by it to that to this day. But as time goes on, I've learned that the strength comes in many shapes and sizes. From Howery Boulder to Mistress Tataru, we've all got something to do and something to offer. Not, and not one of us is doing it in the, for personal gain, because we believe there's more important things than that. Thing is more protect worth protecting. Protecting is what we be being what being a scion's all about. I I'm lost for I'm at loss for words. Thank you, friends. To hear this from you means a lot more than you know. Forgive me, Bella, could you? <laughs> Your work is over? Let's go! Let's go have it. You're finally done with the work. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm still going to be going at least till these, this game is done. So, i am be going for probably who knows how long, how much longer. Give us your thoughts on the Crystal Braves. Well, it's found in, the, found in ideas were something to be proud of. But ideas won't, won't do make a crew. Every swab who signed up for... Swab who signed up for the good intentions. There was another who was only in it for the coin. The glory or both. Well, I might come back when I get home. True, though. True. Because I still have yeah, this quest and two more after. So. Oz was quite a desperate band. True, true habit. And if I don't see you, I hope you have a good rest of your night. And while I will never forgive Ilbert, the fact that we managed to function at all thanks to a lot was a part to his efforts. Ye ye have it. Just a pity that he was doing it for all the wrong reasons, eh? And takes one bad apple, they say, and the Braves had a bear, bear full of them. Like the Scions, we might look like a ragtag band of misfits, but deep down we've all got that shared sense of purpose. And why? Because the Taru sifted out all the glory, Hunters, um, before they made it through the door. I see. So while our ranks comprise of a diverse range of people, each with their own individual strengths, we are united. We are all united in purpose. Thank you, my friends. With your permission, I would make. I shall make a record of our discussion and refer to it later by drafting rec my recommendations. Till we meet again. Quest complete. Two more to go.